Starting off by putting my Emma sleep bed together all on my own, may I add? It was super easy to do, took no time at all. I chose the Diamond Hybrid mattress because it distributes body weight evenly and like contours to your individual shape, um, which gives you really great pressure relief. It's like a memory foam that supports your, your body and it comes with a 100 night free trial, a 10 year guarantee, Super simple and easy to set up. As you can see, I did this all on my own. I keep saying that because I was proud of myself. And it's just so comfortable. These mattresses should not be underestimated. Like even the pillows, just the way that they hold your body and provide such a great night's sleep. As you can see, I'm trying it out now. This is for our spare bedroom. So our guests will be having a wonderful night's sleep. This cover is also removable and very easy to wash in the washing machine, which is so handy. Emma Sleep have opened early access to their end of financial year sale. So you can use the code on your screen to get an extra 5% off products site wide. The really cool thing about this Emma mattress and even the pillows is they have this motion isolation and temperature regulation technology, which means that you're gonna be kept nice and sleepy throughout the entire night. You're not going to be waking up all the time because the person sleeping next to you is tossing and turning and bouncing you around. And it's also going to help regulate your temperature as well. So you're not going to get really, really hot and then really cold. It just makes for a really great night's sleep. I'm just putting some blankets on it. I forgot that I hadn't bought a actual <laughs> doona yet. So I'm just putting the cover on it but I'm just giving you an idea of how like lovely it all looks together. We went with a double for this room. It's the perfect size. Uh, we wanted something that was really simple and that would be able to like suit basically any style of linen with this kind of wood color and actual wood type. You can really easily find other furniture to match it like bedside tables and that kind of thing. Not to mention how obviously easy it was to put together, which is a huge relief. This one, this bed frame also comes with drawers underneath if you need extra storage, which is a wonderful idea. So if you're on the lookout for a company new bed, definitely check out Emma Sleep. Now we are moving our couch into the house. This is actually really frustrating because we were like 75% of the way there. I think that there are four modules to this couch and just one, one of them was upholstered in the wrong fabric and sent to us. And we already waited so long for this couch. The customer service was pretty bad. And now we have to wait even longer. And at the time, like just really poor customer service. So it was just really frustrating. Anyway, as you can see, it's meant to be the ivory and <laughs> seems like such a first world problem to complain, but when you've waited so long and anyway, I mean, I'm allowed to complain. This thing wasn't cheap and it's just frustrating. That is the color. It's like a green velvet, which is nice, but of course not what we ordered. It's so funny seeing memes already at home. Like as soon as we put a couch down, she just jumped up and started <laughs> grooming herself, chilling out. Ah, oh, it just makes me laugh. Like look at her falling into like the corner of the couch where it dips down. <laughs> Yeah, so we had to put that couch together in a way that obviously isn't right, but just until we're waiting until we get the other piece. Now we're uh, unpacking our little Ottoman things, a little, what are they called? Like puffy thing? I don't know what they're called. They're not Ottomans, they're too small for that. But our little swivel armchairs, our beautiful velvet like fern couch. I have a lot of footage of this room throughout this video because I just, it's the only room that kind of feels complete. So it's just, I don't know, we love it. It feels cozy. There'll be a fireplace in front of that stone wall eventually. So that'll look really nice. This room is great for um, the sunrises as well. Like the beautiful sunrises just pour through those windows. Now we're unpacking the theater room couch. This we thought would be pretty easy, uh, but the installing of the actual legs was really tricky uh, and Reese managed to do that, thank God. Now we've got the dining table. We actually bought this as floor, it was floor stock from a, a, a furniture shop over East and it basically has no scratches and we saved a bit of money. And it also means we have to, we don't have to stress as much about you know, like chips or getting scratches and stuff on it because it's already put, like got a few, uh, but 
Yeah, <laughs> Reese and I are such perfectionists that we, you'll see this throughout the whole video, like us just moving around, measuring things. Hmm, does this feel right? Does this feel right? Is that too close? Is that too far away? Anyway, uh, our bed was also missing a part, which is a nightmare. So we've been sleeping on the floor for the past few weeks. And our beautiful side tables is the highlight of this room. Absolutely love them. It's like a walnut uh, wood with the marble on top, which is very, very fancy for us. We've never had fancy bedside tables before. We love that this dining table kind of just blends in with the room. It's not really a feature piece or anything like that. We will probably get a rug for this area and also for this area because this area in particular feels really bare. Um, the couch when it, there'll be like a bit of a, an, an, more of an L shape to this couch when the right module arrives, but it still feels like it's definitely missing something uh, or quite a few things actually. I mean, the TV is up now. It needs like a TV unit underneath it, maybe a plant somewhere. Look at memes in the corner. Anyway, again, I think this is the last of that footage. <laughs> so Reese is just putting the legs in. It was normally this stuff is easy, but anyway, so we just put that together. This couch was actually really great. It was, um, Oh, I can't even remember where we bought it from. I can leave it in the comments if I remember, but it was pretty cheap for a big couch like this. We bought the couch itself and then the ottoman and it actually worked out really well because Reese wanted a really deep couch to watch movies and stuff in and um, that he can actually like lay down on because a lot of couches are too small for him. So yeah, it's really great and it blends in with the, the, the carpet really well. Like the, the color matches quite nicely. So now we're installing um, our little coffee table, which is quite funky. It's like a travertine stone, three little travertine stone legs and then this beautiful, really like retro orange glass top. And we're just putting little felt things on the bottom to make sure it doesn't scratch the floor. Bit of a weird one to assemble, but we had to just kind of see how it felt, move around as you can see, <laughs> get a feel for it. This space is quite big, so we definitely need to fill it up somehow. And these legs stink like sweaty vinegar feet. I don't know why this stone smells like that. I still need to e um, email the manufacturer because it absolutely stinks. It's disgusting. I put that little diffuser on top, but it does nothing. <laughs> anyway, I just love this pattern. It's very like, is it 70s? Or 70s or 50s? No, I think it's more 70s, right? Anyway, really, really, really nice. Definitely would benefit from a rug. What color rug do you think in both areas? I feel like light, but it's so hard to get the right tone, the right fabric, the right like weave pattern size. I mean, size is probably a little bit easier. Anyway, much to do, much to do. No urgency though, because finishing a whole house from scratch is kind of expensive. And here we're installing our fridge. Uh, because this is a project build and not a custom build, our fridge doesn't like perfectly fit all the way back into the area. It looks better than it did in the display home actually, but we were like, oh, it covers up our beautiful cupboards. But anyway, it is what it is. At least the doors open fully and it's a beautiful fridge. We are really stoked with this fridge. We kind of researched for a while and ended up settling on this guy and it just looks really nice. It's really nice to have um, a whole, s anyway, whatever. It's just a fridge, but I'm un like unpacking all the little storage bits, which is fun. I think I wanna do a separate video, like unpacking my, my clothes and putting my wardrobe together because that's a whole separate kind of topic. Now Reese is putting the microwave in. La -dee -da. We've got stuff all over the floor, like underlaid, just to protect the floor while we don't have any decking or anything. Um, what else needs to be said? Oh yeah, our dining table was a nightmare to move in because it's so expensive. This is from Marketplace, but it's cost us so much more than we actually paid for it. Just for it's it's a long story, but <laughs> and the top is a different stone to the bottom. I prefer the bottom stone. Anyway, these chairs we bought off Marketplace as well. Re sanded them back. You'll see in a second the original color. The original color would have actually probably really suited the floors, but they would have just blended in. Whereas this now, this beautiful color looks more like the fireplace. Like it just, it ties in with the different tones in the house, this wood color. I feel like the woods need to be, that was the previous color. The woods need to be noticeably different in order for them to work well. And I think they work well in this in this instance. That's how they looked before. Reese even reupholstered the cushions. He's amazing. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Stay tuned for the next ones. Love you guys, bye. Not so fast. Sorry about the terrible picture quality. I'm doing this remotely. <laughs> I wanted to say that we didn't, I didn't even get a chance really in the video to explain the style or anything like that. We're not following a particular style. As you can tell that like white couch and the orange table are kind of like modern, contemporary, a little bit more trendy, not trendy, but yeah, it kind of is. Unfortunately, it's the best 
word to use probably the other area is a bit more traditional the fireplace the stone you know we're just having fun with it the green dining table it's just stuff that we like if you personally don't like the furniture please don't say that because that's you're entitled to feel that way but it just doesn't need to be shared <laughs> like publicly like I don't need to read it we are happy with how it looks. We still have a bit of stuff to do, but yeah, I just thought I'd explain that because I didn't really get a chance to in the video. There's no real like style that we're following. It's just intuitive, what, we've, what we like. The only thing we're not happy with is our main bed frame. We wish we had chosen like a white canvasy linen material or something, not that kind of weird champagne-y velvety color. It looks nicer in the store. It was that or like a cobalt blue. And then I almost think the blue, no, I feel like the blue would have looked tacky or something. Anyway, that's the only thing, but we've already bought it. It is what it is. Also kind of annoying that it's also missing a piece, but that's why you should follow the links in the description and buy a better bed. We got the ML one like months after we had bought our main bed. But anyway, to the description. <laughs> it's almost bedtime for me. I should be going. But thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye, guys.